At the Mythbusters Mansion, they've been renovating foreign style. No boo. However, the myth as it appears in the movie is busted. Uh oh. But it ain't over until the man in the beret gets a big foreign boom. So next, they're upping the ante with more gas. Now, when we empty this tank into that house, that means that we'll have just over 9% methane to air in there. And that happens to be the butter zone for an explosion. The guys know from small scale that 9% netted them the most energetic boom. But this is large scale. Will this test rip apart the apartment born style? Before they blow it up, they need to spruce it up. We've swapped out all the windows and doors. All these holes that got warped and opened, we're going to actually lay in a bunch of stripping. We've probably tripled the cohesive strength of this building, and that ought to give us just the boom we're looking for. Jamie's known for how he handles his fans. This time around, I'm running the methane into the house through this hose that I've attached to the floor. And I've drilled a lot of little holes in the hose so that we'll get these jets of gas coming out that will mix with the air that is being pushed across them with these fans. Kind of like a blender. <laughs> this mix the air all along. Yeah. This swirling mass of air, I'm hoping, will distribute this fuel-air mix throughout the room. And hopefully, that'll make the difference between a poof and a bang. Jamie's fantastic method will circulate the methane throughout the apartment. And with the dangerous ratio of 9% gas to air, they'll need something more sophisticated for ignition. We brought back out the neon transformer from the small-scale testing with the addition of a little piece of paper here. Go ahead and plug it in. We're going to be able to set a fire exactly when we want to set a fire. Exactly when they achieve the Goldilocks ratio of 9% methane to air. Fans are rolling. That's the last piece of the puzzle. Shall we uh, get to a safe place and go boom? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Let's turn on the gas. Okie dokie. All right, we got about five minutes. Let's get to the bunker. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Hopefully. Actually, I think they need a new signal for us. It'd be like, Fire in the hole! Hopefully. Fire in the hole! Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully is right. The precise stoichiometric ratio should be enough to detonate their apartment. So our fire starters take cover as the methane fills the room. Oh, we're down below 20 cubic feet per minute, and we're about 100 PSI. So I'm thinking we should go whenever you're ready. All right. With the room filled with 9% methane, Will this finally yield the Hollywood blowout? All right, here we go. Ideal gas, air, mixture, born explosion in three, two, one. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> we blew out the whole front. Yeah. We couldn't have done that if we planned. That was perfect. <laughs> And there you have it. One magnificent, made-to-order apartment explosion. But unlike the movie detonation, this one is polite enough to put itself out. Well, almost. I hope this is a cautionary tale what happens when you mix Mythbusters <laughs> with science. OK, here's the thing. While that was fairly exciting, I mean, we blew out the wall. I want to point out that we didn't break any glass. There was no bang. It was a whoosh. And that's something entirely different than what we saw in the movie. The fact that this was an ideally mixed mixture with fans and everything in the exact quantity, and that's the best we could do, kind of tells you what the real deal is. It's not what the movie showed. Clearly, we were uh, born for this job. <laughs> Yeah, but it's kind of too bad. That was a nice view in that house. <laughs>